Welcome to the Dermlin Clinical Series on Wound Care Management. It is a distinct privilege to present to you some of my personal experiences on the use of this remarkable wound care treatment. This is Dr. Josefino Sanchez, a vascular surgeon with more than 30 years of experience in treating complicated non-healing wounds in diabetics and patients with vascular problems. This 72-year-old male presented with three weeks history of progressive diabetic and ischemic foot gangrene, unresponsive to hyperbaric oxygen treatment and regular wound care treatment. Im important factors to consider why wound healing is impaired in diabetics are vascular ischemia, peripheral neuropathy, and hyperglycemia, all of which contribute to uncontrolled polymicrobial wound infection. An accurate prognosis for healing can be determined by comprehensive vascular assessment. The neuroschemic foot is usually cold to touch and pale or cyanotic. As many as 50% of people with diabetes will have neuroschemic feet. The combination of peripheral vascular disease coupled with neuropathy can prove to be limb-threatening for individuals with diabetes. Doppler ultrasound is commonly used in practice to identify the presence or absence of ar arterial disease in the diabetic foot and is particularly useful for finding non-palpable foot pulses. ABI in this patient was below 50, indicative of severe PAD. Arterial duplex scan, a non-invasive way of evaluating the peripheral arterial system, showed a mid femoral artery stenosis in this patient. Pre-op angiography identified a 90% stenosis of the middle superficial femoral artery with patent distal run. Oh. Using the reverse saphenous vein graft of the same leg, the mid femoral artery obstruction was bypassed with a femoropopletial revascularization. Transmetatarsal amputation was done to remove the gangrenous toes and 50% of the gangrenous skin on the dorsum of the foot, resulting in an open stump which would take several months to heal by secondary granulation or may take a plastic surgical reconstruction to close this defect. Applying the TIME concept of wound management, four factors of local wound environment have to be considered to optimize wound healing, namely tissue management, inflammation and infection control, moisture balance, and epithelial advancement. Moisture balance is essential to promote healing and protect the peri-wound tissues from maceration. The concept of moist wound healing has long been established, but despite a plethora of modern moist dressings, there is currently no evidence to suggest that any one dressing is superior for diabetic foot ulcer. Applying these principles, two to three times wet to dry dressing with a wound irrigating solution and daily application of dermalin paste, the wound has epithelialized significantly with almost complete closure and minimal scar formation in a matter of four weeks. Dermlin is a recently introduced wound healing agent with an innovative formula. Calcium has been established as an active agent in hemostasis. Epidermal cell migration and regeneration, which are important components in wound healing. Calcium-based nanoparticles rapidly decrease open wound size by contracture mediated by release of ionized calcium upon disintegration of pH-sensitive calcium nanoparticles in the acidic wound environment. The combined silicon gel decreases inflammatory reaction and improves wound recovery in them. As a result, Wound healing is facilitated by active stimulation, proliferation, differentiation, and migration of epithelial cells, growth of granulation tissues through fibrin synthesis, and decreased scar formation due to faster type 4 collagen growth. 
Its nanoformulation stops bleeding and exudation and prevents infection by inhibiting bacterial growth. In this histologic section, partial thickness burn wound after dermlin treatment clearly showed little hyperplastic granulation tissue, thus scarring is minimized and stable epithelialization is enhanced instead. It is simple to use. After achieving a healthy wound base with minor debridement and daily wet-to-dry dressings, a very thin application of dermlin healing paste was done on this patient. A very thankful patient came back after two months wearing rubber shoes and walks without support, and the foot completely healed. When confronted with non-healing wounds, proper vascular evaluation and wound care should always be done to make wound healing possible. I have tried a lot of wound healing agents before, but nothing comes close. For faster wound healing, trust Dermlin. It never fails to impress me. Thank you for sharing your time and attention.